Welcome to your inspirational astrology horoscope for Wednesday, June 26, 2013. I am astrologer David Palmer, here to illuminate the collective consciousness. Well, Jupiter moved into Cancer yesterday, and we have Mercury going retrograde today. Basically, it's going stationary retrograde, which means Mercury has come to a stop and is now going backwards. And you know, this is an important time of our lives to really start to reflect on our feelings. And especially as Jupiter's here to expand them, Mercury's saying, well, we gotta think, we think everything over. So there's this big pull to feel and to want, yet it's like, well, we're rethinking and trying to understand what to feel and how we feel and what's going on. And the sun, five degrees today, Cancer is trining still to Saturn and Scorpio and trining over to Neptune and Pisces and making this grand trine of follow your gut energy, follow your instincts, follow your hungers, follow these feelings. Don't worry about what the mind is saying, why you don't understand it. Listen to the gut feeling inside, what you feel. That's what you want, what your desires are. This is about anchoring in this deep desire, this hunger inside. And now we're expanding our feelings to understand what that hunger is. And with Mercury retrograde now, this is gonna be the next three weeks of deep review of what your feelings really want, how do you express your feelings, and to review how you truly feel, where you wanna root your life. When I say root, this is where you wanna plant your emotions, where you wanna plant your soul, where you wanna feel more comfortable in your life, where do you wanna feel more secure. And now that Jupiter's in Cancer, it's time to really review your feelings. It's time to really review, though, and Observe the adventure of where your feelings can take you. That the way you feel is gonna launch you in the direction you go. If you feel bad, you're gonna go bad. If you're feeling sad, you're gonna stay sad. Wow. <laughs> but we've got you know a lot of energy to really move us into the right direction as the moon today is finishing up in Aquarius and is bringing us into this forward thinking, our future. I think we're very emotional about our future as we're trying to unveil how we feel. The moon is giving us new ways to feel as the moon is coming close to Neptune to start making a try and that our emotions are really involved in every way possible, but it's the exciting of the future. It's the excitement of the future as we're redirecting our thoughts. We might not know exactly where the future is, but our gut knows what it wants. Our gut knows and is starting to follow the energy of where to go. You might not know exactly how it's going to go though, but you know. How funny. It's like you know, but you don't know, but you kind of know. And it's this feeling that is going to take you where you've always wanted to go. And we've talked a lot about truth. We've talked a lot about having the courage to move forward into this life and leave behind that old structure. And as the sun now is starting to make an opposition to Pluto, there is this energy in the kite where in order to fly, you're going to have to face leaving behind an old structure, stepping into the courage of a new one, and more importantly, making sure that you're leaving behind old systems, that you're stepping and rerouting, that you're replanning your life in the right place, that you're not planting in the same garden because, you know, that's the garden you've always planted your life in. It's like you're going to have to find new ways to plant yourself in a new life that is going to bring you the new feeling. And it is this new feeling which is going to take you to the accomplishments that you want to have, that you want to accomplish. I think that there's a lot of laziness we're going to have to face and fears we're going to have to face. It's only going to come down to who's not lazy and who's not afraid. And who's willing to change the rules. That's the power. That's the trinity. There's a lot of trinity energy going around right now. And the trinity is losing the fear, listening to your gut, having the courage to move forward. I'd say that those are, boom, that's the trinity. Moving forward though, trying new things. The moon in Aquarius today gives you the satellite view as your future is coming. And there's this new energy coming and there's this, all this pull towards really gonna feel the life that you want, but you gotta try the new. You can't be afraid. And with feelings, we get hypersensitive right now. We're hypersensitive to the weirdest little thing. Oh, to that sign. The signs are all over the place. The sun's going down, so I can take these off. The signs are all over the place. With relationships, with everything, with it's just it's like clearer than a bell. You can't get any more clear the way the signs are right now. The signs are everywhere, but you're so sensitive to them. Don't try and run away from them either, or be afraid of them. If if it's if the God is basically telling you to leave that marriage or leave this or do this, you got to. Especially as Venus is finishing up here in Cancer, I think with relationships we're getting down to the bottom of these feelings. We might not know understand how to communicate them correctly or exactly, 
but we know the feeling inside. And that's all that it is, is a feeling and to just sit in that feeling. And Venus is getting ready to go into Leo to really tap into the love vibration and to bring a lot more love and positivity. This is gonna be a great, great, great time. But we are gonna be facing a lot of fears here as we're our most vulnerable, our most sensitive. But remember that the angels and that spirit is around you to guide you. And your only sensitivity is how you're handling the energy. It's a lot like, you know, an unfiltered cigarette. When you smoke it, oh, oh, it's, you know, you're vulnerable, you're sensitive, you, uh, you know, it's a lot of energy to take in at once right now. But don't have fear and face your fears and try new ways and find the courage to go in the life that defines yourself. And get ready for my big webinar that happens on Friday. Taking my last signups right now. Tomorrow is the last day to sign up for the webinar. You will get a link really soon here. You know, I'm working with this place called All Meeting. Um, and they're adjusting it for me for mobile. So there's a lot of questions about mobile. The mobile stuff is gonna only work for iPads or Android tablets. They don't work for phones for some reason. So I don't know why they call that mobile, but I guess you could access mobile on tablets. The other thing is, yes, it will be recorded and I will put up the final product to sell later on if you can't make it. But in the live one, I'm gonna have a chat box where people can chat and ask, I'm gonna have questions. So if you wanna ask me questions live, this is about, let's answer as many questions as we can. Let's all communicate, let's all talk. So the people in the webinar get a direct one-on-one -on -one contact with me and I also am picking five lucky people to run their charts and to talk about them as the whole events of the, the summer are gonna go down. So this is really exciting. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Check out inclusiveastrology.com or theleoking.com if you have any questions and I will see you guys tomorrow.